Transpiration is the process by which water passes through a plant and evaporates from its aerial parts, such as leaves, stems, and flowers. It is crucial for the control of temperature, the flow of gases, and the distribution of nutrients. It is one of three types, depending on the organ involved. 1. Stomata The evaporation of water from a plant's stoma is known as stomatal transpiration. To control gas exchange and water loss, the stomas, which are tiny pores on the surface of the leaves, can open and close. The stoma is used to transport water from the plants. The stoma accounts for 85% to 90% of all transpired water. 2. Cuticular The waxy layer on a plant's surface known as the cuticle aids in water conservation and shields the plant from pests and disease. It accounts for around 5% to 10% of the plant's water loss. 3. Lenticular transpiration is the water loss of plants through lenticels. The lenticels are tiny holes in the bark of the plant's branches and twigs that allow the plant to exchange and breathe gas. However, not every plant has lenticels. It only accounts for 0.1% of total water loss. Exceptions to transpiration Night management Transpiration is water loss from plants through small openings on their leaf surfaces. During the day, these openings allow the plants to exchange gas for photosynthesis. At night, the stomata close, resulting in very low or no transpiration. Crassulation accommodation, CAM. CAM is a different type of photosynthesis. CAM takes in carbon dioxide during the night and stores it in the form of malic acid, carbon dioxide. During the day, the plants use this stored carbon dioxide to photosynthesize, helping them to survive in a dry environment. Dryland settlement in response to drought conditions, some plants decrease their transpiration by partially or entirely closing their stomata. They might, for instance, have thick cuticles or smaller leaves. Other plants might have deeper stomata or hairy leaves. Advantage of transpiration it removes water from the plant's body, preventing it from rotting or disrupting the osmotic equilibrium of the cells. It cools the plant by reducing the temperature of its leaves by 10 to 15 degrees Celsius, protecting them from heat damage. It helps to form mechanical tissue, giving the plant stiffness and strength. It increases the cell wall's tension, making them more flexible and resistant to bending. It spreads mineral salts around the plant as it is transported by a rising column of sap, increasing the concentration of minerals in the plant. It also improves the root system, which is essential for supporting and absorbing nutrients. It increases the root's need for water, stimulating root growth. It improves fruit quality as it increases ash and sugar content and also affects fruit size, shape, color, and flavor, due to SAP. Transpiration is not a simple process of diffusion of water from the surface of plant leaves. According to Fick's law, water evaporation is directly proportional to driving force and inversely proportional to resistance. The resistance makes plants conserve water and manage stress. Resistance occurs due to the non-formation of the continuous column of water during evaporation, hence, stomata distribution makes resistance more prominent and manages water. Mechanical aspect and organs role will be dealt in next video.